Hey guys, Terrence here. We're going to have a great show, so help us get the uh, audience attendance up by sharing this on all your favorite groups and on your wall or wherever else you think you might be able to get some people to, to join us and have a great show. We've got some uh, really cool things to show you with the sky. Hey guys, Terrence here on Let's Talk Reef with Paul. Hey, how's it going? Another week to be with you guys. We were here just a few days ago. Well, not here. We were in our homes, but hanging out. Correct, correct. So this is the actual Let's Talk Reef that we're going to mm -hmm. do today. Thank you everybody for joining us. Share it around all your friends. We appreciate all of you guys coming each and every two weeks to one of these programs and hopefully we'll have some interesting stuff for you guys today yeah. and uh, take your questions always so if you have any you know good questions I mean not about necessarily what product is coming up but maybe you have an issue with your apex or a, those yeah, kinds of if things. Yeah, you have questions here. about how, how to set things up or you know general questions um, that we can answer we'll be happy to answer those. So we got Timothy Doyle, Evan Goldstein, Jeff Brandt, Steve mm -hmm. Berlin is here from CJ. Yep, yep, yep. Send more shirts Steve. Are you muted? Uh, no, I'm on. Uh-oh. We have no Paul today. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Check, check on the audio check there, Vincent. Okay, we're there. Okay. So everything is good. So anyway, first and foremost, we are in the middle of an amazing sale that we've never done before in spring. We have a, uh, an event. Yes. So we have the spring. Mm. What is it? Bring on the spring? Get your spring on. Get your spring on. Get your spring on. <laughs> you know. So, uh, so you guys out there, you know, give a shout out if you got any uh, great stuff. Maybe with some of your stimulus money or something, you know, got a discount. Or your. Let us know in the comments what you bought. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to hear about it. Um, it is going swimmingly. Yes. So um, we're and it's going all the way until next Sunday. Next Sunday. That's March twenty. So a lot of stuff is out of stock now in, in mm -hmm. various stores, uh, both brick and mortar and online, but a lot of people are getting kind of reloaded midweek. Yeah, so um, the response to this sale has just been incredible. Um, you know, we were expecting, um, you know, that people would be very interested mm -hmm. um, in the sale, um, but the, um, uh, as usual, you control freaks never cease to amaze us. Yeah, it was pretty um, crazy and, over the uh, weekend. It was crazy weekend, and we um, uh, so a lot of vendors are sell, sold out of very popular products. Um, fortunately, we've been shipping things all the time, every day. Uh, the shipping team has been working really hard. The operations team has been working really hard mm -hmm. um, to build that equipment up for you guys. Um, so they will be getting um, restocks that we were already planning. Some of the stuff sent, sent mm -hmm. last week. Other mm -hmm. stuff uh, was sent this week. And the weather's just been atrocious. Yeah, it you know? also so plays a part in it. It has to get from California over the Rockies, you know, yep. and then into the Midwest or the or the Northwest. They need, and, look, uh, in Europe too. Yeah. They need to get some reagents in Europe. That's there what Pedro are, said. Their uh, reagents uh, did leave the building today. Alyssa got a trident. Awesome, Way to go, Alyssa. Alyssa. So, um, but yeah, we are staying busy and we appreciate that, Control Freaks. No doubt. So, uh, probably see, you know, one or both of us on again before the end of the week. We've got mm -hmm. some interesting... Uh, content we're starting to peel back the layers on the sky 
So stick around for this show because we're going to have one of our NSI guys live with his aquarium. Tonight. Uh, so you're going to be able you're to see some to stuff. See the sky in a fully um, just. Two after. weeks ago, they saw a picture on, you know, Mr. Saltwater Tank's right. aquarium. But that, that tank's just getting started. So there's not any corals you know? or anything really So you really don't have it. that frame of reference. Um, so mm -hmm. we're going to be inviting an NSI member who has been running it for, for literally weeks. Okay. Uh, m maybe months? Has it been months already? Yeah, I absolutely. I, I Gosh. <laughs> don't know. But anyway, we've got uh, lots of product coming online. We've got uh, uh, the sale that's going through Sunday. We've got the Grow which is a big deal. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about some shout outs that we haven't done in a while shout for outs. local fish stores. Our local fish stores, so, the backbone. Exactly. So yep. especially when we have new local fish stores, we like to give them a, a very nice shout out, mm -hmm. show a picture of their store and whatnot. And we're going to start off today with uh, Vincent giving me the, the, the go ahead there. Uh, <laughs> what's in your tank? And they are, it's Susan Ingold. So mm -hmm. Susan met me at, I believe, MACNA. Yeah, one year. We've seen Susan a number of years, I believe. So she runs that particular store out of Land Lakes, Florida. Mm -hmm. Have you been to Land Lakes before? I'm sure I have. It's the butter capital of Florida. Booyah. I don't know that, but it sure sounds like it. Love that butter. <laughs> Love that butter. Um, but um, they had a nice order that went out a couple weeks ago. Okay. Uh, she's got stock on the shelf. Um, and is really excited to represent the Neptune Systems brand. Florida has some great stores, man. They I'll really do. They've I, just got I, tons I, and tons of is, stores. It is, you know, that whole area is just, is just teeming with good opportunities. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is also in Florida. <laughs> Where is that in relation to the other, other one? I no. don't know. I don't All know Florida's yeah. geography that well, but the uh, second one is Seven Seas Aquatics in Cape Coral, Florida. And uh, Brandon... No, no, this is... We're going to... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is... That, that looks like cool. one that might rival the Pure Reef in Atlanta that from looks, the looks of it, from that, the style perspective. That looks pretty cool. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Look at that place. I feel like I want a fish tank. Wow. Look at the style. It looks like I'm watching one that, of those shows I mean, on HGTV. Thing, you know, in some of the best fish stores I've been in, like, they recreate a home fact, yep. right? And then show you what a fish tank would look like in that. What in it's that like room. being in a home with one of those. They, they even yeah. have a, what do they call that? A, a fiddle fig? I think they call that a fiddle I'm, tree I'm, fig. I'm not sure. That's like all the design rage thing now. I watch all those HGTV shows lately and that's the thing. Yeah, COVID, huh? <laughs> COVID and yeah, redoing <laughs> a kitchen or whatever. <laughs> anyway, so this is a store in Coral, uh, Cape Coral, Florida. Another great store. So stop in there, say hi. They are a brand new Neptune. I think they're brand new Neptune Systems dealer. Oh yeah, dealer. they they showed up big on it too. So yeah. I mean, they should have it on the shelf because I got a. I've gotten several calls just today. Hey, where can I find this? Where can oh, yeah. I find this? Go to your local fish store. Absolutely. Um, very likely they are stocked and ready to go. Or they will be in any day now for yes, sure. Yes. Yes. They'll be getting a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the next one that we're going to is aquatic reef design. We're going to do a lot of these today because we haven't done them for quite some time. Yep. So mm -hmm. aquatic reef design in Ocala, Florida. Okay. So this is Kevin. I always wonder, some people call it Knudsen and some people call it Knudsen. So I don't know. So it's Kev Kevin Knudsen and Tom Bowles run this store out there. All right. And uh, do we have inside shots or just the door? Just the door. Well, okay. That looks so, like a store that I want to walk into. So That's there you go. Sure. You're going to, you're going to keep you, uh, you know, Keep it, keep you interested. Get a meet, you know, mm -hmm. mystery, the mystery store. So stop in there if you are around Ocala. Yeah, that's right. That's the third Florida store. I mean, a lot of Florida <laughs> stores have been showing up and knocking on the door. Um, some of our best stores in the country are found in Florida. Reef Palooza is um, coming up too. Reef Palooza is in May. Orlando. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we need a, We need a show. We need a show. Yeah. So mm -hmm. sorry, I little get got the I got the excitement. I'm drinking apple me. juice today, so if anybody wonders, okay. it is apple juice. <laughs> Kona Reef in Arizona. Okay. They've got three locations. Um, they've got one in Phoenix, one in Surprise, and Arizona, <laughs> and uh, one in Chandler, which is just about to open. In I April. thought that was like surprise. We're in Phoenix. No, no, no. It, there's there's a place called. It's in the. It's in the. It, it's really far away. Okay. It's up in the northwest side of uh, of the Phoenix. Is that area. like Truth and Consequences, New Mexico? No. No. no? It's nothing like that. It's those names, no, huh? No. No. Okay, so uh, so they have three stores. Kona Reef. Now, it has been a reefing desert. 
over there in for, Phoenix. For, for Neptune gear for the longest time. You know, we, 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 one of our first platinum dealers was there Ooh, many, it. many years ago. And um, since that time, right, um, there have been none. Yeah. Right. And um, it's good that we finally are getting some um, three stores now in the greater Mike Phoenix Mike and area. Alex uh, mm -hmm. Fouth, mm -hmm. our husband and wife team who run those stores in Arizona. Thank you guys for being a great dealer. Your store looks awesome. The, and the, the Phoenix one has been there forever. I think this is the surprise one, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Looks really good. Great job designing that one. And then I think this is the last one, which is uh, dun, 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 in Louisiana. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm just kidding, Vincent. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> it's Infinity Aquarium Design. Okay, and they're in LA, in Los Angeles, California. Nick Tiemens and Joe Pineda run that store out there. And I hear it is also like a design capital kind of store. I mean, you look at this again, I don't that's know how a, big that, that... That's one of their, that's it, one of their it, installations. It, so oh, they okay. do more installations. I thought that was a store. I was like, whoa. They do premium installations in the Southern California area. Um, okay. Are, you know, uh, know their Apex stuff frontward and backwards. How big is that tank? Is that yeah. real coral? No, those are inserts. I was going to say, because I was far away, I couldn't tell, but I was right. like, holy cow, if that's real. And they've been um, using our equipment for a really long time. They started purchasing direct, you know, and get and uh, kind of stepped it up a little bit in terms of the Apex game. Um, these guys know what they're doing. Whoa. And you can feel really confident that if you're looking for one of those custom installations in the uh, southern Florida area, um, they are Look at uh, that one room. Of the I'm just looking. I'm just sitting here. To go to. Like, I'm, I, I'm taking this in. This is the first time I've seen this. The guy's got, like, some sort of a, one of those fly guns or something down there. It's and, a replica of some sort. Uh, right, and a bunch of other gear and yeah. then the beautiful tank. Then awesome. It, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of opportunities in Southern California, and the Aquarium is definitely one of them. Whoa, look at all of those lights over that tank. That is so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> a few skies on there is all you need. I, I didn't say that. I just you said know. it's unnecessary, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> or soon we'll find out. MRC skimmer, very cool. Love the love got the gear closet biz, there that biz, they did the install. Biz tank. They got. The, I love the tablet over there mm -hmm. to the left. I like that they you know have a little um, you know uh, uh, checklist for themselves. Absolutely it's great looking install of biz pumps. All of that stuff in there. Very. All somebody very, knows what they're doing there. Just close away a little checkbox there when you yeah, need like to do that. service and stuff. I like that. For sure. Anyway, thank you to all of you dealers out there who, mm -hmm. uh, who are carrying our stuff and representing the brand and doing such an awesome job at it. And sorry we haven't you know, shown off a bunch of these stores for a while. There's We've been just, lax. It, it, we, we haven't done it for a while because there's been so much going on. And um, you know, it's hard to, so we're just going to start bringing stores in. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds to choose from. Yep. You know? And um, you know, our, our guys, our boots on the ground, guys, you know, they work hard to support those. Yeah, stores. so shout out to Tom, shout out to Adam, shout, shout out to Vincent, who's also driving the, the mm -hmm. show here today um, for uh, you know interacting with all of our stores and making sure they're serviced the way that they need mm -hmm. to be. So, Definitely. Okay, so all of these stores now, too, are picking up the latest product that we have officially released, and it is for sale, which is the Grow. And the Neptune okay? Systems Grow, right there. There it is. The macroalgae light. Yep, and as we uh, discussed last Friday, yes, we did not build this here in our factory. No, we did it's a big not. Big surprise. I know. It's I hard know. to believe. It's hard to believe. But uh, we did yeah. influence the you know, some changes in the product that mm -hmm. we're not going to go into all of them more than just the color here. And obviously we have a clamp on here, uh, the pipe clamp that's unique, that's yeah. here. But really what really matters is does it work? Yes. It, it that's all works, that really matters. It works uh, quite well um, as it's been demonstrated. And one thing that we did differently with this NSI, um, you know, I think the, the, the proof was in the pudding, as they said, mm -hmm. right? Is that, is that I say it right? Uh, that is that is the right thing. I finally saying. said it right. Okay. Yes. So, you know, and you if you go to um, the Scott, the Grow page, right, um, you're going to see testimonials. And those yep. testimonials are literally right from the NSI feedback. Well, you can actually click right through there, too, to yeah. go to the actual forum. Yeah. And we've moved over a few of the NSI threads right. exactly as they were. And you can see the, the, the progress that people were making mm -hmm. with it over many, many months and running it. And then, you know, some of some people out there, I think maybe, uh, you know, Jennifer, who just came on the, the stream here, I think their store, they're not huge fans of the refugium methodology, mm -hmm. which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to really love the natural kind of approach and, and growing the algae yeah. and, and, and being able to throttle it. Now, there were some questions that came up. One of them was, why don't you make it dimmable? Right. Um, and and uh, that way you can adjust the way that the, the macroalgae grows. And 
I don't know. I think there's a better way of doing that. I mean, so we make it dimmable, right? That's an, that's that's now uh, another thing to mess with. It's another know? thing to mess with, it's so another, it takes away the simplicity. It, it, it also means more cost, right? Because now, Absolutely. now you have to do something to modulate that voltage, right? And then furthermore, I mean, you need less light yeah. Bring it up a little bit. Or, you know, don't run it as long. Or don't run it as long. Yeah. Or use the convenient pipe mount feature where literally you can put this light anywhere underneath your sump, right? And I think in my video I said, up and out of the way. Up <laughs> and out of the way, right, <laughs> you know? And it's just easy to use and um, we didn't need to overcomplicate something. And if you start growing to too much algae and driving your nutrients down too fast or too much, then you can just scale back you know, the, the schedule. And to right. do that, you can do it right with the, the task. Yeah. Can we so show them how, how it, it works in the it, task? It's a super easy product to set up. Yep. So, so Vince go. is going to dial you in here, and then you can show them from start to finish how All you would right. set up your So we're going to click on bro. my favorite icon, the task icon, which is the one mm -hmm. that looks like a clipboard. Okay. And I want to do something with the grow. So guess what? I'm just going to type in grow here. Right. I don't want to actually, yeah, I can do that. Oh, look, I can just add or configure a grow light. How about right. that? Okay, um, then the first thing you're gonna do is guess what? You're gonna plug it into one of the DC 24 volt outputs that could be on a one link module or an EB 832. That's, we didn't get the, the right uh, hand model like we did for the video for that one. That's yeah, somebody else's thumb. I don't know is, who that is, whose some, finger that is. That's some gnarly thumb. Action. It is. I don't know whose that is. Definitely not mine. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we select, you know, which pump we're gonna, you know, one of our DC 24 volt outputs. Right. Right. Um, you know, we... You give it a name, so you call it, instead of ATO pump, you would you'd call it grow or refugium light or whatever you want to call it. You know, mm -hmm. um, and then you um, specify when you want it on. We suggested a time right here, but you could make mm -hmm. that be any time that you'd like. And so, you you know, with that every, uh, with every task, too, if you started driving down your nutrients too fast, you just come in here, do, it, and, do, this, do task this again, again, set it for less right? time. And you would set it for less time. And that's something you do need to watch, right? How right. much you're harvesting and things like that. Whenever you make changes to your aquarium, the first couple weeks are when you need to monitor that most closely. Um, and then we're gonna give you a little summary of how it's gonna operate. And then you hit send. I'm not gonna hit send here now because, sure. you know. But no it. programming. Mm -hmm. But so that's it. no programming involved whatsoever. It's pretty I mean, simple it was, to do. It was just putting in some inputs and mm -hmm. um, getting results, yep. right? There Absolutely. was no if or thens. And if you want it to um, be more complicated, guess what? We have the opportunity to make it more complicated if that's what well, you want. Yeah, you can go in and program it based on other things that you're getting, yep. other results that you're getting, your pH or mm -hmm. something like that. You could turn mm -hmm. it on and off. If your pH gets too high, you can turn the light off. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Lots of different things that you could do. But anyway, it is available. Stores do have it. It is selling well. Some stores are out of stock so and will get restocked. One question I've seen a lot is, is it waterproof? Ooh. You know, there's all these questions about waterproof. And it's IP64, right? right. Tell, tell us a little bit about what it's that means. It's basically splash resistant is basically what it means. So you can, you, you know, you can get some of the salt spray on there. It's going to get crusted with salt spray. You know, if you had dripping hand water, you know, your hands dripping water or whatever, that's mm -hmm. going to be okay. It's not officially waterproof, okay, mm -hmm. which means you don't want to dunk it in the water. No, you don't, sir. Okay, as we said, we have had people that have had that happen. They had positive results, but by no means is it warranted against right. water intrusion you based know, around dunking it. And the big thing, too, is to know how high to place it. So if you're really trying to get the light close to the water so you have minimal spread, right. so you get less algae growth in mm -hmm. other parts of your sump, like your skimmer, for example, um, turn off your system. Okay. Right. See how high the water level rises. In some refugiums, yeah. that means it's going to. It, it's you can put not, a mark on there. That's what a lot of people just take and you know, put a. See how high it rises. Little sticker then, or something. Then you can just make the um, the grow be right above that. Right. Okay. Um, and then in that situation, you won't be submerged. And the get started guide will even take you through where to position and how to position. Right. And the, and and some people's goes you know up higher than other people's. Uh, there was a question that came up that said you know how do you use it? As you saw in the picture. Uh, with that thumb, you can plug it directly into any uh, DC24 connection, which yep. could mean on the side of your energy bar 832, wherever that is, um, or you can plug it into a one link connection. There's two of those connections on a one link module. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you have the power supply, you could plug it even into an FMM and yeah, have the power so supply. You can purchase um, a power supply separately. You might have a power, an extra power supply from a solenoid that you had at one time mm -hmm. or from a PEAM up that you had at one time. It's the same connection. Right. So, um, what, somebody asked, what does GROW stand for? 
It's just called the Grow. I know. That's what I said. Come up with an acronym for us, you know, and that would be great. You know, then I could start using that acronym. Yeah. So there, get on that. Get anyway, if you don't have an Apex, obviously yeah. you can get the power supply for it, which is uh, 1995 for the power supply. Look, you got it. There you go, green refugium output. Okay, good. I like that. All right. I'll, until I see something better, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can get the power supply for it. You can run it then, obviously, without an Apex if you so choose on any other system as well. Yeah. Um, it can run with a timer. 129.95. Yep. But that not today. And that includes... But not today. Oh, not today. Tell That's me right. More. That's <laughs> Yes, exactly. More. Under $120 today. Under 120 Like 117 today, something of that. And it's either available with the flat or with the pipe mount. Okay? Correct. Um, as so far, um, you know, the, the pipe mount is pretty interesting. So mm -hmm. think about that one. It fits to one inch uh, plumbing or it fits, fits to three quarter inch fittings. Right. So... Um, where you could put something in there. So, so Harry Singer's on here, oh. and it's also slightly disturbing for me every time I see him come up with his, his icon because he has no shirt on. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> I, I see. I, 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 think, I think I've thought that many times, but I've never consciously understood what, what, what it was. We have fun in the show, now. though, Paul. We've got to have a little fun. I'm waiting to see what Harry's first gadget's going to be for this. For the for this product? Yeah, yeah there's got to be something. Come on, Harry, what are you working on? There's got to be something You know, there. Uh, what, 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 what are we going to get? For sure. I mean, there's going to be something 3D printed for this thing, I'm sure. <laughs> it, doesn't need, it doesn't need blockers, that's for sure. Yep. But All right, well, everybody... <laughs> Harry. <laughs> All right, we're having fun. Let's see if we have a couple of questions before we get into the next segment here. Any questions? Nothing about a fanny pack, please. Growth <laughs> Refugium Optimizer. I like that. That one's good, too. That is very good. What do we uh. got? Uh, okay, we're gonna, we'll hit all of these more or less. Jack asks, when are you going to open NSI back up? Jack, we don't ever know, really. Um, it's not a set date. We have a certain number of people in a pool that we have, and when it looks like we're, we've kind of worked through that pool or we need a different kind of set of people mm -hmm. that have different uh, criteria, they're running different kinds of products or whatever it may be, yeah. then we go and put out a post on I, Facebook. I imagine probably after Sky is finished, right? I can probably right. see us probably looking for um, new NSI testers. Okay, Drama D, if you have a, a question on the Trident controlled dosing, put it up Yeah, uh, for sure. We can't read your mind, buddy. Um, uh, let's see. Ba -ba 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 Sorry, I'm reading through these right now as he pulls them up. Uh, is there a list to sign up to be a Neptune distributor? Um, there isn't a list, but you can always send an email to sales at neptunesystems.com if you have a store that uh, you'd like to become a Neptune uh, Systems dealer, and somebody will get back to you right away and see if uh, that can work for you. Yeah. For sure. Um, what do we have? Any other Vincent here? Any other new ones that have rolled in? <laughs> so much funny stuff coming yeah. through on these comments all the time. So some of them are not so PG. Yeah, you gotta, for you certain. Keep it, you know. We, we have a, we have a level of decorum. We here. we can't repeat okay. some of these. Okay, you know. we're not like one of those other channels. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> but we uh, have well over 200 people now in the live stream, so that's ah, pretty cool. Ah, so they're all dialing in to, in to find out something. what okay. else is happening. So, all right. So we're not going to give you the sky release date. So if you're tuning in to get the sky release date. No, no. You're not going to get it. No, no. If you don't want to hang out because we're not going to give you the sky release date, sorry, that's not going to happen. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to show you live a tank that is currently lit by the sky and talk to the person who is kind of a famous guy. He's given talks, you know, on aquarium stuff all around the country and at various, uh, you know, reef clubs and whatnot. Um, he's often seen in the... Uh, uh, in the presence of Mark Levinson. Mm, so he yeah. and Mark have done some like group uh, talks at shows and whatnot. Yep, and he, uh, he keeps an awesome reef tank. I've been there myself permanently. Uh, permanently. <laughs> Previously. <laughs> permanently. I'm a fixture in his home. <laughs> hey, I got it before you caught it. Um, <laughs> yes. And uh, he also has frag tanks out back and he sells his corals and everything. So without further ado, let's bring in Dwayne Ostrike. I hope I sp s pronounced his name correctly. Dwayne, did I get your name correct? Mute. We got a mute on here, so muted. I don't know if it's Dwayne that's muted or or oh, Vincent boy. that's muted. Oh, we're good. There now. we go. Now we're we good. got it. We're good. All right, buddy. So did I All pronounce right. your name correct? Is Ostrich. Ostrich, not Ostrich. Okay. Yeah. Ostrich. I'm not going to forget now. No, I probably will. <laughs> I probably will. 
I probably will. I'm really bad at this. Anyway, so Dwayne has uh, had the sky for how many weeks now? Uh, it's been just shy of a month. Okay. Just shy of a month. Yeah. So we've started putting them into the hands of NSI, the first NSI people probably about two months ago, I think. The mm -hmm. first ones The first went round out. of NSIs went out about two months ago. That's correct. And, uh, and then we basically now have pushed it out to a bunch of other people. And Dwayne, so we... I mean, so people want to understand kind of the process, Paul, of how mm -hmm. we decide who's going to do what. We're looking, especially for this project, in a well-rounded group of people who are running different kinds of... Reef uh, tanks. Yeah, different kinds of reef tanks mm -hmm. and different kinds of lighting. Right. So, I mean, specifically what we looked at is how much lighting were you running, what kind mm -hmm. of lighting were you running. Then the other... Um, sector there was the type of tank that you had. Right. Right. Um, so Duane is quintessential, right, SPS tank with a little bit of LPS on the bottom. Absolutely. I mean, clearly yeah. we're looking at this amazing tank right now um, and that's very evident. So let's get some of the, 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 the details from Duane on his tank, which he can give us like the basic stuff that everybody wants the rundown on. How big is the tank? How long have you had it running? You know, what's your inside secrets? Give us a, a good 60 second synopsis here, Dwayne. Oh, okay. I started this tank, uh, upgraded it from a 120 to a 210 back in 2007. Um, secret to success is a lot of flow and a lot of light. Uh, feed heavy and then skim the heck right back out of it. Um, <laughs> so, of course, you know, there's 16 million mouths to feed in here. They need a lot of food. So I think a lot of people forget that with SPS, they need great water quality, but they also need a lot of food. And I think we've learned that in the last few years. So, so what's your filtration methodology on the tank? Uh, I have a big Bubble King skimmer, 150 gallon sump that's actually turned into a grow tank. Um, a remote refugium with a deep sand bed in it. Um, I use ozone to help keep the water clear ozone. so that the, yeah, so that I can keep just for water clarity, just so that I can get more par to the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. You run a refugium? Yes. Little 20 gallon full of feather calerpa currently because I find that Cato either grows like a weed or it's dying right. horribly. <laughs> so, right. so I switched back to feather calerpa. I think that um, stuff's illegal here in California, ago, so. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. no wonder the fish stores in, in Washington don't really have it anymore. So yeah, it's an invasive uh, species. I think that's why they're worried at getting into the ocean right. and and taking off. Yeah, and... that's really about it. I I do regular water changes twice a month, about you know ten percent twice a month, the old norm, and I dose um, Acro Power daily. And I have for a few years. Love that stuff. Me too. Feed. Me too. So, Love that stuff. So yeah. how do you keep the water so clear? Do you use mechanical filtration as well? I do actually. Aside from the skimmer, I have been running filter socks for about oh, seven or eight years. I finally put a Clarice on there, which is just so much less maintenance. I change the roll about once every month and a half. Great. Uh, well, Great. yeah, I got to get so. into that. I, I, I think that's a, a really good solution for it. Okay. Yeah, your, your big old filter socks that you keep down there. Yes, well, exactly. I, yeah. No, what I'm what I'm waiting for is the the one from Thieling uh -huh. that they use for ponds. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, this yeah. giant one. This as big as this table here, and I can set it outside my sump and plumb to it. Oh, that'd be and awesome. And then I won't have to change it for like six months. The filter <laughs> material would be perfect for this nice. lazy guy. Yeah. And, yeah. And, absolutely. And then one thing you mentioned there, Dwayne, was um, flow. And uh, and I uh, was a big part of your a big part of that. Mm -hmm. um, what what are you doing for flow oh, yeah. in there? <laughs> in, the dis in, in the display tank, I have four wave pumps okay. um, that that run pretty random. I mean, I could get up to what sixteen thousand gallons per hour peak, mm -hmm. and I find that when the acros are growing near the surface, even that sixteen thousand gallons sometimes isn't enough. So I have to clean them pretty diligently to keep them running peak performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, it looks um, like you have really good turnover in there. So I'm a, I'm a little bit crazy. Even in my frag tank, I have a 35-gallon SPS frag tank. I have two wave pumps that run up to 60%. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's, there's actually quite a number of people that do that. Uh, Richard, with yeah. all of his, uh -huh. um, with all of his uh, spawning stuff he does, he uses the waves yep. religiously in yep. those tanks. For sure. Um, but the, uh, okay, so over the number of years, I, 
I, I forgot exactly how many years, but it's been quite a number of years. You've run a lot of different lighting solutions on the tank. You were a big black box guy. Tell us about that experience. Oh, well, after I switched from metal halide, I built my own first two LEDs and I just got tired of having to solder emitters and deal with exposed wires. So I went with black boxes. That's all I could really afford at the time due to uh, at the housing market. I was a contractor and, mm -hmm. and money got tight. So I sure. went with LEDs. Um, the black boxes worked well, but running them at 100% on both channels so I could grow yeah. SPS just burned them out. So I was rebuilding black boxes almost annually. I had, right. I think, 10, 10 of them over my system. That's a lot of soldering. Wow. Yes. That's wow. Soldering. Okay. Well, that's a that's a lot of black yeah. box lo right. love, I guess. A lot of black boxes. Yes. Okay. So yes. ten black boxes is what you started. Any other when you're running the black boxes, were you running any other supplements on there? Um, on the display tank, I do, um, just because I'm so used to the old metal halide single point source that I always run the supplemental, so just to reduce shadowing and to get a little bit better of a light spread so yeah mm -hmm. um, t i have uh t5s and some reef bright stunner strips that i so, so, ran alongside so when you were on black boxes you had the black boxes and you had supplemental t5 and uh, reef brights on top of that right stunners yes what was your total <laughs> wattage consumption do you think to, to run the uh, tank it's about a total of 900 watts a day i think okay okay or an cool. hour at any given moment during peak. Okay. So then life got better for you and you said, I'm tired of changing out, you know, all of these, uh, these emitters and everything on the lights. Yep. When was that, that you changed to the next thing? It was about three years ago. I switched to Radeon G4s. I got them used from a friend that I mm -hmm. trusted. So I, did, I picked them up. Um, but immediately I could tell that the Radeon G4s were lacking, lacking spectrum after having built my own LEDs for five or right. six years. Um, I think it was six months after putting the G4s on. I I changed them out to G4 Pros. Okay, and I see. ran I those see. for about a year and a half. And so. were you so were oh, running... so you went from G4s to G4 Pros, which basically yes. had a, another a few more LEDs in them. Is that what they did? They had the UV and they had the warm white. Ah, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, and and yep. the UV is a big part. And how of many this. of those did you have over the tank? Three. Three. So, oh, you lost me. You sure? Both of us. I'm good. I can hear you both. Okay. You still hear me? Check, check, check. No. Check, check. We can share. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Check, check. <laughs> you hear me, Dwayne? I can hear you. Interesting. Yes. Well, if you guys out there can hear me, that would be amazing. One. More. Now you're gone. <laughs> Got nothing. All right. There you go. Vincent's oh, now you're back. Vince is changing batteries right now for a moment. Um, so I don't know if our, our receiver probably uh, went off or something. Okay, so mine's on now? You're really loud. So just... Okay. I'm good now. Okay, so we... Oh, okay, I'm back. Sorry. It's a battery change. Okay. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> so you were... So they had three G4 Pros. Did they have yes. the uh, the diffusers on them? They did. I didn't like them. Um, okay. Like I said, I, I like a lot of wattage, a lot of, uh, and the diffusers just took a little bit of par away that I felt like I wanted and needed. Yeah, most of the diffusers are going to take out between probably 15 to 20 percent on most diffusers that are used out there. Um, they're yep. just going to cut that right out. So if you needed that extra um, oomph, you're going to definitely lose it. So you had three of the G4 Pros, and, and you were what, also running the others. Yeah, the supplementals. Still yes. the T5s and the uh, Reef Bright Stunners, right? Yep. And okay. the Reef Brights, they're not a XHO. They're just a the Lumi Light, the bottom series. So I don't really use them for par. They're more just for that dawn and dusk look. Right. So that right. the fish tank can go to bed and wake up slowly and quietly. That's about all I Got expect it. those to do. Got it. Makes sense. So when I asked you about this, were you, you know, when I said, hey, is this something you want to be interested in, Dwayne, or whatever, were you a little bit hesitant at all? 
You can Absolutely be honest. not. I, I've been looking forward to seeing these come on the market since they were first announced. <laughs> Look at how giddy <laughs> It's great. Um, well, I know for a lot of people, though, I mean, if you've got yeah. something going on, sometimes, you know, the change, right, for a reef tank, you know, even if it's a good change, can, be, can bring on some bad things. I'll give you an example. Um, I just did a huge trimming on my tank, right? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I took out giant colonies out of there to make room and to, re, to redo things. After doing that, uh, basically about half of my huge uh, torch colony just, boom, died. Just gone. You didn't even know that, did you? Uh, no, you mentioned it. Did I do that? Yeah. So is there's that, like, is that one of those things that we talk yeah. about a lot, right? <laughs> right. You know? So it was just because it's a big change, right? So it was a big change in the lighting yeah. that that coral was getting. And so I, can, I, I absolutely can understand how tenuous somebody could be on that. But I guess Dwayne's you know, got a lot of confidence I mean, if, if in there's, If there's one thing that you know, always does well in an aquarium, it's consistency. Nothing right. good ever happens in a reef tank fast. <laughs> so if you make a major event on your tank, you know, that's when bad things yeah, happen. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So um, we appreciate the confidence, Dwayne, you know, and, and, everything, and everything like that. So... Um, so, okay, so fast forward, now Dwayne um, gets his sky, we tell him basically what the coverage is going to be on it, right, and he puts a sky over his tank. How many sky you got on your tank, Dwayne? Three. Three, Three sky. sky. Okay. Yep. And can you yeah. tell us a little bit about what supplement, supplement, supplemental lighting you're using now? I left the same stunner strips and T5s on just for okay. consistency. Are Didn't they on right now? too much. No. Oh. They are not on right now. Well, there you have it. No. Okay. So right now, everybody, you guys are looking at his tank with only three sky over the tank. It's a 210, so it's 72 inches wide um, and 24 inches front to back. Is that right? Yes. There you go. So three, three lights, 72 inches. Um, and how would you say the coverage is, Dwayne? Better than with radions. Okay. Well, you, we're not pushing him we're, into we're, that. We're, 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 it, it, it's better than what I had. Better than what I was doing. We we appreciate that. And we, yeah, how, do yeah, you, how would you describe? Go ahead. Why do you Why do you think that it's better than what you had before? I mean, in terms of obviously you've you've been able to pare down if you wanted to the number of other lights that you had on it. But what's the like the major difference in your experience? So one thing I did before I got these, I picked up the PMK. I wanted to see what my par was, so that during the transition. I wasn't going to be shocking my corals with too much or too little light. Mm -hmm. um, it's several years of, I mean, the, the, the Oregon tort here, I think is five or six years old. And the last thing I wanted to do was stress it out, lose it for some stupid reason that, right. mm -hmm. that I'm right. arrogant and I'm just unknowing. So I, I picked up the par meter and I measured everything before changing them. And when I put the new ones on, of course, I, I tested the par in all of the same places. Um, one thing that I noticed visibly upon stalling these is that this corner of the tank here, the frog spawn had better fluorescence right mm. off the bat. I mean, I could physically see it as soon as I turned the lights on, right. that there was a, a good UV pop down in that corner that wasn't there before. So. Now, one thing to tell people, too, that we haven't mentioned, Dwayne, is we're not running any of those crazy filters on the camera, right, to get the colors to pop or change or whatever, right? This is straight out of your iPhone, right? Absolutely, yeah. I changed the spectrum a little bit then from my normal viewing so that the camera wouldn't be Windex blue. But hey, uh, yeah, you have to switch on it. a little for a little bit of white balance, you know, when you're when you're video, right. taking pictures and things like that. Yeah. But the colors right now are just very vibrant. You know, I think this um, is one thing, too, that a lot of people who are seeing a little bit more of a white tank sometimes, when they don't get as much of a true full spectrum and it's more white, they're not liking it that much. Mm -hmm. But when you get a really good full spectrum, what you end up getting is this color gamut across the tank mm -hmm. that shows so many colors that you wouldn't otherwise see, especially if you're trying to go for a way more blue look on the mm -hmm. tank. Not yeah. that we can't do this. We'll show that in a minute, that you can get your blue look if you guys like the, the super mm -hmm. blue look. We'll let Dwayne do that in a minute. But if you take a look at the fish back there, you're going to see some colors that, you know, you see the yellows, you see the oranges, you see the yellow tail on the, the hippo tang, you see the, uh, you know, the colors coming out of the naso, you see in a lot of these, so you've got this, 
color gamut that that is got a wide range. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's one of the comments. You know, not only have we gotten from our NRSI testers, like, holy cow, like my corals are looking, uh, the fluorescences that I'm getting are, are are enhanced, but I've never seen my fish this way. Right. You know, um, <laughs> and I think that's also just look at the pintail ha having that. Yeah, having that nice white balance. Can you tell us a little bit more about like what you've seen in coloration and what you've seen in coral behavior since you've put the skies on? Yeah, I'm actually getting better uh, green fluorescing like the coral again down in this corner. There's a large table that's a, a wild maricultured colony I picked up a few years ago has always been people have compared it to the what the Jason Fox Fox flame. Um, mm -hmm. Dark pink with mm -hmm. the with the yellow tips. It's actually getting green down in the base that I've never seen before. So it's it's definitely getting uh, more fluorescing than I've ever seen down in that part of the tank. My mm -hmm. Cali Tort has always been more of a purple washed out due to the intense light. Um, it's actually looking more like a Cali Tort. It has the green even under the white spectrum. And usually it only showed its green when I would you know, be down at the 18, 20 K look as the tank was dimming down for the night. That's, that's um, so you're seeing a, a wider spectrum of colors starting to appear in your corals now, mm -hmm. is what you're saying? Yes. Oh, that's yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a definitely a better lighting spectrum that I've seen in a lot of years with LEDs and, and even my T5 supplement. What about, so. what about uh, things like the, um, you know, the corals? Are, are, I mean, other than color, are, are they responding? I know a lot of NSI people right now out in our little secret forum are talking about polyp extension and whatnot. Not necessarily saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I love to see a nice, you know, mm -hmm. hairy uh, millipora for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Right? Yeah. Uh, as far as the corals, I had a hiccup as soon as I installed my skies. I, I got cocky. I had a well. I didn't. I, I was treating for ChemiClean. I had a cyanobacteria outbreak, and then my alkalinity jumped up real high, plummeted. I actually lost a few corals, so they mm. they browned out a little bit. Um, they they're bouncing back yeah immediately yeah i don't and see a problem with brown corals right now no no <laughs> yeah I mean, so, so you know so the um, the rebound is is better than i would expect after something like that i mean right in here i lost four colonies that were six eight inches and that fortunately i had a couple mini colonies set aside that i was able to put in there so i don't have a, a blank rock work that's great yeah but the corals that have survived and in the surrounding area they all have great polyp extension and like i say colors are popping out that i haven't seen in years great great i i've had a similar experience you know i think last let's talk reef we talked about mm -hmm. uh, i had an event about four weeks ago and it was due to negligence more than anything right you it's, know? A, it's the laziness um, that sets yeah. in on all of us it's the complacency yeah. and, all of that uh, it's it's bouncing i didn't lose a single coral and everything's bouncing it's, it's looking back. better it's now coming for back sure. real, real strong well I, I know you run a calcium reactor so I, it may or may not be easy for you to tell but i know also on nsi we have guys who are reporting a pretty significant increase in uptake from their corals in terms of their two-part consumption guys that are running two-part have you seen anything in that respect i blew it i like I said right after that event right. um i topped off my reactor so i had to turn it down i had stressed the corals so so, so growth is actually slowed in the system overall so mm -hmm. um other than that like i say it's I can't say that I'm having faster growth, but honestly, like I say, better coloration. So I'm expecting it to hit me pretty hard pretty soon. So yeah. I'll be begging the fish stores to buy co product from me. So, um, so one of the things people are asking, uh, and I know this is a, a, a deal, you know, a deal for some people have, uh, you know, it's a different taste, right? Which is how much shimmer there is. Now I can see shimmer in the tank, especially in the upper right hand section of the tank where the corals are up there a little bit higher. It's a little easier to see in the video um, just below and to the left of that uh, green slimer. Do you mm -hmm. see it there, Paul? Yeah. So, uh, so you're seeing a little bit of shimmer in the tank. Obviously it's not gonna have Kessel shimmer, right? I mean, yeah. it, it, it's obviously a much more even uh, light source, but there is a, you're getting some shimmer. What's your feeling on the shimmer for you? Oh, I think it's perfect. It, uh, I get a shimmer without getting the disco effect that we're used to see with a lot of halide fixtures. Um, or not halide, LED, sorry. Yes. The early but, LEDs uh, that you were running or the, uh, yes, the ones the, from the uh, like the black box stuff. So you're not seeing any of the disco yeah. ball effect in the sand? or under No disco ball effects. It definitely has shimmer where I need it. Um, show that, Vincent. That was good. I've, I've turned the yeah. intensity down a little bit just so that the corals wouldn't be so washed out. You know how 
with with photography and and filming it definitely tends to be yeah. oversaturated yeah. with just light so a little less shimmer that i would normally see today but i like it it's it's just perfect with the water with it the water movement crisp. on the surface well, i haven't told know? it's like it's those the fish especially in a tank as clear as his it looks like the fish aren't swimming in water that's how somebody explained it to me right yeah 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 and i think we showed a little bit of uh of um uh Eric Schulis tank, you know, yeah. we saw that it looked like the fish weren't swimming in water, you know. I mean, so. and look at the kind of the edges, like at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. You can see when you start to actually go through some shadows, right? You're seeing a nice kind of rolling pattern. Yeah, there, down there you know? on those zoanthids, you can see the, the mm -hmm. shimmer down there or on the, the zoanthids. In the favia down there. In mm -hmm. the green is that a favia yeah. or is that a zoanthid? I couldn't no, tell. No, it's a favia. Is it? Okay, sorry. Maybe a favia. Big, big favia. Some, some yeah. sort of pineapple coral, right? <laughs> there we go. All right, yes. cool. We'll we'll see see yeah. Zoanthids don't do too well. So they don't do too well in so yeah. so anyway we're not giving out a ton of uh details on the sky yet we just kind of want to uh oh oh no Dwayne just he accidentally okay. he'll be back in in a moment okay full screen us and we'll be back so anyway so Dwayne will be back here in a second but uh we're not going to be giving away a ton of details yet I mean right, come on right. guys we this is what we have to do you know we have to show it off we have or to show it off tease you know, it up a little and, bit um and, and I mean Dwayne's tank is just is just one of those quintessential, you know, that is what you strive for. And right? I have, you know, we have one or two more, maybe this maybe this week we'll show off some tanks. Okay. Uh, coming up a little bit later this week. But uh, we are super pleased with it. I wanted to have Dwayne. Dwayne's coming back in here. Um, for those who... Uh, Sorry you know, about who that. Say, okay. Hey, Dwayne. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, man. Uh, so for those, we, we, have the, we have the control. So uh, for those, those who like a little bit more bluer kind of glow the corals look, I don't want people to be left with the feeling that it's a really white, it's, light, it's a white and light and you can't get out of being a white light. Um, so can you flip a button on your, on your phone there with that awesome device we call the Apex? And mm -hmm. I'll leave the phone alone because it, the last time I touched it, Put it in it, what it we call at the booth the coral sales mode. Yes. Sell them corals. <laughs> get your blue on. Well, this is, this is the blue blue on. Yeah. <laughs> Where, so, there so you go. Now, yeah. now's when it becomes hard to pick up, uh, you know, on any camera when you go that blue. Right. 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 This is this is when that orange filter is is necessary. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's just so much blue. But uh, it is available, so you mm -hmm. can do it. And uh, Dwayne is Dwayne's tweaking and playing here. And, th and this is your normal mode right here. Yeah, that was a normal mode, and then this is my new. Photography mode should be coming back any second. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that photography mode is just something that's going to be, it'll be there, guys. So it's, it's, yeah. uh, look at that Achilles. I know that Achilles. I, oh, that Achilles I'm so in the, jealous. Yeah, Achilles and the Potters, <laughs> just every time they swim by, I'm just like, ooh. Well, he's got an Achilles and he's got the, the powder blue together, which yeah. I had until yeah. the one killed the other. Yeah. But, but, uh, so jelly on that one for sure. All right. We have any questions that I may be able to answer, Vincent? <laughs> because there's going to be a lot of questions um, on the sky. I don't know. Uh, we do not have an acronym sorted out for the sky yet, so we're still taking feedback on that. So if you guys uh, have a good one, I haven't seen one that's that's worthy yet. So keep trying on that one. Um, ma, 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 ma. Nothing else on the sky. Why? I mean, because the rest of them we can't answer. Yeah, I can there's a lot of questions okay. out there. What does it look like? What's what, the price going to be? Price going to be? Is it going to be controllable? <laughs> You know, all how is it going to be controllable? How many channels are there? How many LEDs? These are all questions so that here, we're not. Here's one yeah. thing I, I I will say though is that you can see how awesome this tank is lit with just three lights, right? Three and lights. And so you 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 have to imagine that this is not going to be a bargain light, okay? Mm -hmm. Because in order to cover obviously some some ground, there's got to be a lot of money and resources put into this to be able to cover that much and give that much coverage of light, okay? Mm -hmm. So that much we can at least tell you. It's, it's not going to be a $185 light. That's not going to happen, okay? Um, you can wish. <laughs> but what I will say to that, though, is you're going to basically use every single watt the best it can possibly be used mm -hmm. um, because, you know, based around what Dwayne told me, this is not even using two-thirds, less than two-thirds of the wattage that he was using before. So with his, so what the, 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 his previous lighting solution, you know, he used 
significantly more yeah, wattage. More, yeah, more, power. more equipment that he had to pay for, more equipment that he'd have to basically maintain, and more power to run all of it, okay? Mm -hmm. And so that all has to be factored into this, you know, without even talking about, you know, what the price is, so. Yep, okay. So Dwayne, overall, pretty, pretty happy so far? Oh, very happy, very happy. You know, I, I did forget to mention, you asked if I saw any difference in growth. Corner up over here, I have two Montes. I have a grafted Monty in the corner. Definitely growing faster due to, due to less shadowing. It's uh, less shadowing. picking up the greens. Yes, You start, you start getting growth where you never got it before, and you notice it more. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's doing much better in that dark corner of yeah, the yeah. tank. So Edge to edge, this looks very even. You yeah, know, which um, is just great to see. I'm just loving it all the way over. So. Well, well, Dwayne, thanks for being an NSI member and uh, you know putting you know putting your tank out there, right? Because you you know it. Uh, whenever you make a big change on your aquarium, it is a risk to your baby, basically. Mm -hmm. you, so you, you have Neptune Systems giving you beta firmware, right? Yeah, you know, and and going through the process yeah. is yeah, a like, scary thing. Go, yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen next? I always ask Kurt, "Is this one I want to put on this Apex?" And he goes, "He goes, absolutely. I've been yes. on it for a couple hours." And yes. I say, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off. <laughs> yes, I will say if any of you guys are out there on NSA on this stream, obviously remember you guys are under an NDA. Yes. So yes, please resist the desire to want to talk about anything that you do know. Mm -hmm. Your time will come on a on a stream just like uh, yeah. we have here. And we don't give these lights away. Dwayne bought these lights. You know, I do want to comment yeah. on that. He, he does have skin in the game. Yes. You know. Yes. So. Absolutely. So thank you again, Dwayne, for doing this and being part of the NSI and being very, um, you know, uh, involved in making helping us make a great product. We do appreciate it. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see you in person at a and an event here in the not too distant future, or I might have to tag team with Vincent on one of his Northwest, uh, you know, journeys just so I can get up there and see all you guys. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting back out and seeing some shows and hanging out with you guys and all of my fish tank friends from around the U.S. and world. And uh, let's get this COVID behind us. That's for sure. Absolutely. I'm got one more question. We're going to get them out of there. How high are they off the tank mounted right now? I have them, I believe, at 11 to 12 inches. Off the water. My Perfect. Last, yes. My last lights were 16 in order to get near the same spread, and they didn't oh. even have the spread that these do. Gosh, you, just, so. you just offer up these great nuggets of information. Thank yes. you, Dwayne. Oh, Thank you. Sorry. Yes, sorry. No, that's good. Perfect. Yeah. No, exactly. All right, Dwayne. Take care, man. We'll talk to you soon. We appreciate it. Thank you. Happy you guys have a good day. Enjoy those fish, man. All right. I'm excited, man. I know. I, I see I it up love, there on the screen. And love, that screen over there is better than this screen. Yeah, so I kept yeah, looking yeah. over there because it's so much better on the, uh, you uh, know, it, on the other monitor. A lot of hard work is going into this product. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see the smile on Dwayne's face. And, you know, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, seeing, seeing, seeing other reef keepers other than us in the building actually running the yeah. lights and seeing the successes they have and reading that every day, multiple times a day, we go through that forum and, and read the feedback that they have. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's obviously once in a while, it's something that needs to get fixed or some little tweak or something yeah. to make it better. Um, but a lot of the time it's wow, wow, yeah. wow. That's mm -hmm. what it is. So I hope uh, that you guys liked the tease. It wasn't certainly yeah, as we're, we're disappointing just... as Derek's video. Um, so. Gosh, you got you got a lot of heat on that, man. I was I don't understand I people. I, I laughed, laughed like crazy. I, I laughed. laughed at that it was video. Great, thank you, Derek. So, um, if you guys want to go see the sky, right, the, you know, the parts we didn't show you, Derek's, go watch Derek's, Derek's got video it all. on got it all. Uh, on the Reef Automation channel for sure. So, um, we will uh, continue to let more nuggets of information of the sky come out as we get closer to release. When mm -hmm. that release is, is sometime yep. in the future. Yep. You know. And, uh, and that's good uh, stuff. It's good. So. All right. Well, we are We're at the end of our program, unless Vincent's got some other any other good questions. questions? Nope. So that's going right. to be it for today, guys. We'll be back in two weeks yeah. for another episode of Let's Talk Reef. Thank and, you, guys. And uh, before then, probably a little bit later in the week, I might come on with another uh, another NSI person and That'd show off their tank. So until next time, enjoy those fish, guys. See you, See you guys. later.